mad? Too bad. During Barack Obama's presidency, he created an entire generation of freeloading welfare abusers across the country by making it easy for people to receive them. However, not only did Obama make it easier for everyone in the nation to receive these benefits, he also made it possible for illegal immigrants and refugees to obtain them as well. So, when Donald Trump campaigned for president, he promised that he would cut back on these welfare programs. And he is not about to go back on promises, as millions of Obama's freeloaders found out this morning which is liberals screaming mad. The purpose of welfare is help people who are struggling financially to get back on their feet while going through hard times. However, over the last several decades the role of welfare has become more of a lifestyle choice than a stepping stone to something better. Over the last several years, the number of people living on welfare only increased causing financial issues for our country that needed to be resolved quickly. After President Trump was elected, he began to implement several programs that would cut back welfare programs on the federal level, and of course, the left and lazy welfare recipients have cried foul. Now, in a new executive order signed by President Trump, he is asking federal agencies to enforce work requirements to those who receive federal aid, and to review all of the waivers and exemptions to those work requirements. Programs included in this never-before-seen move is those who are on Medicaid, and could potentially incorporate thousands of people who receive subsidized housing benefits. The purpose of this drastic move is to help those in poverty lift themselves out of their predicament by being productive members of society, and it is about darn time. Here is more from CNN Money. Trump signed an executive order Monday directing federal agencies to promote employment for those on public assistance. The president called for enforcing work requirements that are already in the law, and reviewing all waivers and exemptions to such mandates. Also, the executive order asked agencies to consider adding work requirements to government aid programs that lack them. The federal government should do everything within its authority to empower individuals by providing opportunities for work, including by investing in federal programs that are effective at moving people into the workforce and out of poverty, the order read. The agencies have 90 days to submit a list of recommended policy and regulatory changes. The move is the latest step in the administration's effort to require low-income Americans to work for their federal benefits. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services earlier this year began allowing states to mandate that certain Medicaid enrollees must work for the first time in the program's history, while the Department of Housing and Urban Development is looking into the issue for those in subsidized housing. The Department of Agriculture also wants to strengthen the work requirements in the food stamp program. Currently, adults without minor children can only receive benefits for three months out of every 36-month period unless they are working, or participating in training programs 20 hours a week. However, states can waive that requirement for areas where unemployment is at least 10% or there is an insufficient number of jobs, as defined by the Department of Labor. Several states particularly those with Republican leaders, have also been adding work mandates. Kentucky, Indiana, and Arkansas have already received approval to require certain Medicaid recipients to participate in community engagement programs, including working, volunteering or job training, while several other states have applications pending before Centimeters West Virginia and Wisconsin recently tightened the work requirement provisions in their food stamp programs. The president is ramping up these efforts after Congress opted to punt on entitlement reform with the midterm elections looming in the fall. The order outlines nine principles of economic mobility, which are in line with long-standing Republican ideals. They include improving employment outcomes and economic independence, promoting marriage as a way of escaping poverty, reserving benefits for those truly in need, and empowering the private sector to find solutions to poverty. The order directs agencies to provide more flexibility to the states, which administer many of these safety net programs. Millions of Americans flocked to the nation's government assistance programs in the wake of the Great Recession and the expansion of Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act. More than 74 million Americans are on Medicaid, while more than 41 million people receive food stamps, formerly known as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. Everyone in the country works to pay their bills and to provide food for their families since we all know that nothing is free. So, why in the world would it be free for anyone else? Well, the answer is pretty devious, and it all boils down to control. The global elite which is filled with leftists and some Marinos are working hard to destroy our country, 
an economy to push for a one world government. If they can crush our economy, then it makes it much easier to force this sort of tyranny upon the people, but those plans were thwarted the moment that President Trump was elected. Now that Trump is in the White House, he is busy building our country back to its former glory by cutting programs that only have harmed our nation, and supporting state leaders for doing the same. It will take time for us to see positive changes, but we are on the right track, and that is all that matters. What do you think about this? Please share this news and scroll down to comment below and don't forget to subscribe Top Stories today.